Right, I hope you can see. Let me just bring the camera down a little bit. Right, I know you can see from there. So this is, I've got to do this tonight because I've got to leave it to dry overnight. And hopefully this hasn't dried. Oh, that's fine. It's not dried up yet. I just want to do something. And um, I've got a little bit of wood that we were, while sorting the room out, I spotted that it was in a bag. And I thought, you know what, it would be a perfect um, way to use that up. So I'm just going to soften this. So I take the chunk like that, and I'm just gonna Let's just try that one again. I don't mind the breaks in it whatsoever because they can be like that. No, it's gone too far, that piece. It was actually quite dry on the end. So let's just do another one. Like I say, I don't mind it breaking or going, cracking on the edges. Or, you know, cracking on the edges there. I don't mind that at all. That's fine, that can stay there like that. Uh, now what I need to do is just to do some stems. So I'm just going to clear that off. 
and I don't necessarily need them, you know, all thin. You want some chunkiness on them. You want to be able to stand them. Like that. That's fine. And I might just nick it. Like that. And then we just pinch that out. We just pinch that bit out. Just on the odd stem. So I'm just going to lay that like that to dry. <coughs> so I need one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to leave that one there. Just flatten down the top a little bit. don't have to be perfect at all. That's another one. I do want a couple of small, uh, tall ones. I'm using air dry clay. I'm just going to leave them like that because I don't want anything else done with them. So that's four, five, and we'll go for that one, six. And as you can see, this is quite fibrous, this clay. Pop that back in there. Oh, no, I need the dots, don't I? Yeah, no, I'm going to... I've got some dots to do. Some of them are going to have a little dot on. We'll see. So they're just going to sit like that. I know that's leaning over, but we're going to leave it like that. It may take a couple of days to dry. Like that. 
make sure we can stand it up flat when we need to. Right, so that's the stems. Fine with the shape of them. I might want to do a little snippet in here. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to cover that. And what I might do is put some little bits on it. Let me just see. So, just hang on. Let's move these out of the way. I'm going to seal that one up again and do it a different way. Okay, so we take a little slither of this and we roll it. Like that. I'm going to flatten it. And then what I'm going to do is smooth it out like that. Right? And then all I'm going to do is release that as is. Like that. And then we're going to wrap that around. Cut that off. Smooth that bottom section down and then we're going to release that just waggle it back and forth see and then we pull that back like that see and then you have to leave that to dry. So I'm going to try and stand that one up so that it dries. And we're going to do the same again with this bit. I'm going to put it further up here. Just do that. Break that off. Smooth the bottom section out. It's just a quicker way of doing it. And I learnt this many years ago. Can you see how it curls over? Now leave that to dry. And just do that again. So you can do them deeper if you want. So we'll roll that out, see like that. Okay, we're going to flatten that down, brush that forward like that. Okay, never mind what's on your fingers. And then we're going to pop that on there. Like that. Seal that on there. See, like that. And just let that dry. And just pull it out if you're not happy with it. Lift it off. I'm going to put mine down here. No, yes, right there. Whoops. Never mind, we'll soon pick you up, mate. It is delicate when it's dry. But then you just, you know, when you paint it, it'll be just right. I 
I'm just going to lay that one down and that can lay down as well. I'm quite happy with that. So you can split them and pull them apart like that. And then just join them together like that. And we'll lay that like that. And if you want to do another bit, coming off, you slant it a little bit. See, like that. Okay, so I'm going to see if we can keep these upright. I'm just getting a little bit more. You don't even have to do that in your, you know, on the deck. You can just... Do that with it. See? It depends what you want. But when it's dry, it looks so real like. Like that. You can bend them all different ways, like that. They just look fab. Don't know if I can do it to that one. I'm not happy with that bit there. I'm going to take that off. And just reuse that bit and that bit. So all I do is flatten it out. Pick it up. Pop it back on. Smooth it out. Much better. There we go. That's it. Put a little twist in them. You can have a little bend. Yeah. And then when they're done, our little caps can go on them like that. But you'll see what they're like in the morning. And this is why I'm going to break a couple of the, you know, the way it is. Oops. Sit up, my laddie. There. So I should be able to leave those now. Oh, I wanted to do the dots. So yeah, sorry, I forgot about those. Let me just see. That should be enough. If I have too much, I can put it away. If there's not enough, get some more out. Right. Now oh, some of them have little dots on them. Let me just shape that one a bit more. Oops. I 
the look the wild mushrooms and therefore we need to have them wild looking wild so and I need to put some little dots on them and that's all I do Right, I think that'll do. So I need to put this back. Oh, well, no, do you know what? Bugger it. I'm just going to do this. Let me just move those out of the way. Hopefully, they will dry for when we need them. And then, let me see if I can do this. Um. Just for future use, that's all. Somewhere. Oh, could you know, I can use that. I think I can use this as a circle cutter. Like that. Like that. See? And then... Let me just see if I can do it with this. I'm not sure. Uh, button. <laughs> well, I don't want to waste it, do I? Not perfect. I don't care. Wait a minute, where's my little roller? Just get my little roller. And I'm just going to cut a few small buttons. Three buttons like that. Let me just find some that I can use. Much bigger, have I? Oh, don't worry, you can pat it back into shape. I ain't fussed at all. Just spin them round on your finger so you've got what you want. I know we can't put this right through so I don't want to spoil my mat but I can put my needle through that later on I'll put it down as best I can I need to put this as through as I can like that so I know when I put the needle in it will work and it's just a safe way of not wasting your clay. I can get a couple more buttons out of that at least. Oops, oops, don't you dare. I mean, they don't have to be. Um, too big. Right, 
There we go. Like I say, they'd have to be perfect. You know, if you were using, um, if they used clay buttons originally, they weren't perfect. These are just buttons for me to play around with. And I think what I'm going to do with this one is just to make one big button. Just keep flattening that out. Like that, as a big button. Like that, and flatten that. Fine, that can all stay as it is, and uh, we'll be ready for tomorrow. Hopefully, they'll have dried. Hopefully, I'll see you then. Bye bye for now.